Yo, all right, people, what did you? All right, I'm going to give it to you right now, right up front, so you just know. The answer to the question that I posited in the title is absolutely 100% yes. Well, kind of. And maybe. <laughs> All right. I don't want to be glib. I'm not trying to be glib. I'm dead serious. These are the actual facts. There's been a big conversation around YouTube getting rid of thumbnails. It kind of started back in November, gained some speed in December, ramped up fully in January. And basically, a whole bunch of people believe this to be true as of February. And the truth of the matter is, yes and no. And I'll tell you why. Okay. So if you have been using your, say, YouTube recently, right? Um, mostly say like on your TV and certain browsers, you'll notice that whenever you hover your mouse over a video, it instantly starts playing the video. Now, depending on your settings, it'll play the video and in some cases even play the sound. And so because this is happening, what creators are starting to find out is that videos that pop off a sense of enticement in the first say seven or eight seconds, those ones are getting the actual clicks. So even more than thumbnails, which is fantastic news for you who say you don't like doing designs, right? Like say, I'm not a graphic designer. I can't, I don't, I don't, whatever, right? If this is your squeeze, then you're okay because your graphic design skills won't really matter in this particular situation, which will matter is what we're going to get into today. And yeah, so do I think this is just quick nutshell for people who can't stick around. Do I think you should stop worrying about your thumbnail? Absolutely freaking not. Packaging is, packaging is packaging is packaging is packaging. And even if, even if YouTube makes it go away, you often share your video on other platforms where it doesn't have an auto play with auto sound and auto scroll. So thumbnails are still 100% important. Don't skip it. Don't give up whatever. But if you want to figure out how to attract more views, even if thumbnail doesn't matter the way it did say three months ago, stick around for the live. Let's talk about it. All right. So I see everybody's rolling in. Good morning, fam. Let me talk to y'all. Uh, and I don't even know if you notice like sort of what I did right there. I tried to spit out the entire conversation in that first two minutes because yeah, this what you should do, right? Um, I am super guilty of what we're going to talk about today and in the process of trying to improve what I do, I think it is a good opportunity to teach you how to prove what it is that you do. Now you guys will notice firsthand depend again, depending on your browser, I notice it a lot on my TV. My TV does it right. But one, okay. Out of the four, two of the TVs do it. Two of them don't. So on the newer TVs, when you, you know, move the remote over the video, it starts playing the video and it'll even play the video with sound. If I can do this real quick, let me show you if we go to here, right? So why'd you get loud? Just stop there. Okay. It got loud. Anyway, so if I put my mouse inside the Chrome window and hover over this video, it instantly starts playing. Right now, I have it set up right now where the sound is off. If I were to unmute that, you see, okay, so paying attention, if I were to let me find a different video, if I were to find a video from somebody that kind of knows what they're doing you'll notice that they put all of the impact in the very, very beginning. Uh, Marquez is probably on this, so watch this real quick. I was kind of wondering how long it would be before I could say this again, if I'd ever say it again. But one plus is kind of back. Boom, six seconds, bam, the heater, six seconds. Literally, you put the power in that six seconds because a person hovering, looking for something to watch. And we've all done this on Netflix. Netflix started it a while back. We've all done this on Netflix. You hover, you hover, the trailer starts to play. You're like, all right, that's cool. 
and he tries to play some more. You're like, okay, that's cool. And you never actually click on the first one. You keep clicking. You like scroll around a little bit until you find something, something, and then it will just bite, right? It will just absolutely bite. So let's. Here's another one with two hundred and sixty thousand views. Let's see if this person did it. Check this out. No, I did not go click one. This is a point one point because you meant to do that. And no, it's not for photographing a lot of camera because. <laughs> Boom. Again, six seconds. I'm enticed. Now I want to watch the whole video. Camera Junkie is probably like screenshotting that if he didn't already watch it, right? Because that's enticing, right? A lens that goes crooked. You remember the movie um, where Angelina Jolie and it, they, you know, they shoot bullets around the corner? So, again, like a lot of the big players in the game, the TV guys, whatever, they haven't figured this out yet. They don't do this. They do it on TV, but they don't really do it on on uh, thumbnails, but yeah, let's see what with uh, jo uh, Judah did right here. The power of ChatGPT for generating creative and unique video ideas. The kind that can take you from just getting a few views to completely blowing up your channel. Boom, he did it. 10 seconds, that was actually 10 to 11 seconds, but I, it's enticing enough to make, oh, I should watch this one. All right, boom. All right, cool. So it's there. Um, you don't have to hear the sound. You could do this on your own computer. You could do it right now while we're watching this. Open up another tab, hover a mouse, see if they say what they say within the six seconds, and and you you got it, right? Do you see what I'm saying? So the the point is <laughs> so yes, the point is and uh Human City, I actually said this from the very beginning. I'll say it, I'll repeat it again because it's worth repeating for all of the people that didn't come to class on time. <laughs> so listen, the answer to the question is, is Utails, Utails, is Utails, is YouTube getting rid of thumbnails? The answer is absolutely yes and kind of sort of no. So I'll repeat it again. For people who suck at thumbnails, this is actually good for you. You can have a horrible thumbnail and still get clicks in your video because they have the hover and play. But the difference is if you are going to pull on the hover and play game, the first 10 seconds of your video have got to smash. So what does that mean? You cannot go, hi, let me show you today how to get the boast out of your car insurance by switching to Geico. Those are not going to work. Those are over, right? If you are a talking head channel like myself, it's probably going to be better to come in and be like, oh. here you go. Starting a YouTube channel today and you are looking for the absolute best camera you could possibly buy for the money. Here it is right here, the Sony a7 IV. I'm going to tell you why in this video, stick around. Like, that's enticing. That will make somebody want to stick around unless you're Gretchen and you're a cannon bleeder, whatever. Um, but for people that would be interested in Sony information, they would kind of, why is it rattling? Oh, that's weird. Oh, the cat wasn't on tight. Okay, that was scaring me. <laughs> um, you, you would probably want to click on that to sort of figure out why and, and what the impressions are. So because of hover, hover and play, then you better switch it up if you don't. So let me address this. You say, I hate hover and play. It's impossible to figure out what video is about when you hover and play starts. That's the key. You just told the answer. Mm, I can quit now, game over. Everybody listen to Human City Junction. That is the answer. If you cannot figure out what the video is about in the hover and play, that person is effing up. Have I done this? Yes. Do I still do it? Yes. Am I absolutely going to fix it? Yes. Because now hover and play is happening on TVs, on mobile phones, on your browser. It's super important. You should put in. All right. There's a guy here. I'm going to show you guys a channel. It's been a minute since I've seen this channel. And uh, in the meantime, let me see. Uh, let me try something here. I'm going to hover this here. Legalizing marijuana continues in Hawaii. Some state legislators are hoping the state joins 21 other states in legalizing the drug. 
It it's actually showing as if it's playing through the Roadcaster Pro, but let me take these off and let me try this again. Ah, uh, I know why. Okay, just one second. We're gonna fix this real fast. Uh, la -da -da -da, switch it to main. Now it'll work. Hello from so I'm not gonna spend. There you go. There you go. All right, it's fixed. So let me switch back over to the browser. I want to show you a guy. I I used to watch his channel a lot. I haven't really seen a lot of content from him lately, so I don't even know if he's still making current videos. But TLDR. This guy was really good at this. Um, uh, a lot of people have seeming to stole his idea, and he's not the number one guy anymore. Ah, okay, it's not going to work. There used to be a guy. He used to go by TLDR, and what he used to do was like give you the answer to the question right up front, and then go into the details. All right, TLDR filmmaker. That's why I had it wrong. Okay. So, and as you can see, like at the end of the, I mean, if you look at this, this is four weeks ago, uh, thumbnails ain't the best, let's be honest, right? But if you would hover one of his videos, oh, he doesn't have sound in his. Well, that's kind of crazy. Or maybe, yeah, maybe it only works from the front page. That could be possible. Um, anyway, so yeah, check out his videos. I'm not going to play one right now. Check out his videos and you'll notice that the way he does his videos, he gives you the answer to the question right up front. And if you get the answer to the question right up front, you're more likely to stick around and watch the whole video. It's just like trailers. You're almost building a trailer in the front. And it's going to be hard for you. I'm going to lie. It's not going to be easy for the majority of you because you're not used to doing this, but you best get used to it. Like, legit, you best get used to it. Let me find another video from somebody who I think should be up on the game. Um, let's see. Ba, ba, ba. That's people are not going to do it. Of course, YouTube's just giving me a bunch of weird stuff at the moment because that's just how it works. Uh, let's see Envato. Let's see if they do it. Envato should know better. Design pieces, we need to understand the rules that make it work. The principles of design are a set of rules that designers use in order to create visually pleasing. Nope, not that good. I don't even know if I would click that. You know what I'm saying? So again, if you just scroll through your videos, find some people here. Sean definitely knows what he's doing. Let's see if Sean does it. So the landscape of social media and YouTube is changing. And in this video, after 40 hours of research, looking at some of the biggest data firms, marketing agencies, I've distilled down five essential trends and predictions that you'll want to pay attention to this year. If you want to start or grow a YouTube channel, I'm also going to be talking about some of the All right. So he did it in 20 seconds, a little longer, but on their general think media videos, I think it's better. You know what? I want to go to the actual channel and see, because I, I just realized when I was looking a second ago, it seemed to only happen on the home channel. Let's try on one of these. Yeah, it only does it on the master page, which is cool. But just know that if they're testing it out on the master page, it's probably going to happen sooner or later. Now, let's just say, uh, yeah, that's the guy. Just Let's just say if whether this was happening or not, theoretically, this is what we should have been doing a long time ago. We've talked about it before. We maybe even tried to practice it, but I know I forget. I know I often forget because I'm so excited to get out the information that I'm get out. So basically, yes, Michael, this is the answer, right? You want to put out some sort of statement or elevator pitch, but I wouldn't even go as far as to call it a pitch because the elevator pitch is normally longer than seven to 10 seconds. Uh, elevator pitch is probably more like 15. You want to either, I hate when they say hook, right? Because the reason why I hate the term hook, even though it's real, like that's the right term. The reason why I hate the term hook, because it almost sounds like you're going to hook them and then bait and switch them. <laughs> you don't want to do that. But you want to put in your hook. You want to put in your posit, right? So if I were going to 
do a video on this machine, right? Right. This is a 14 inch MacBook Pro M2, kind of almost sort of fully loaded. It's an ultra without being an ultra, right? And well, only two terabytes. I didn't go psycho on the drive. It'd be fun to do a video. The Maui supercomputer is not that far from here. It'd be super funny to stand in front of the old Maui supercomputer park and be like, I'm going to do a comparison of the brand new MacBook Pro versus a supercomputer. If you want to see more, stick around. Bam. That would be a, a good video hook or something like that. If you're having trouble with your video hooks, you know who can help you? My friend Chad. Chad GPT. <laughs> so, yes. Um... Yes and no. Listen, all right, let's run this back again. I still think thumbnails are important because when you post a video somewhere not on YouTube, it's still got to be click worthy. So this is not an excuse to get lazy with your thumbnails, but it will help those who are not thumbnail designers. If you're not a thumbnail designer, you can put all the work in your in your hook, right? If you are a thumbnail designer, I would say stick with doing what you're doing because it's still got to catch when you're on, say, a different platform. Um, if you do, uh, yeah, I I 86 my countdown, and everybody except Sammy likes it. <laughs> I 86 my countdown in my live stream. Um, yeah, people, we're gonna fight about this forever. At first, you know the the excuse, the excuse in the past was it gives the people a chance to show up to your stream. I'm starting at eight, right? Sometimes, like today, because the elevator was slow, I started at eight oh two. If you ain't here, you ain't here. That's not. I shouldn't make. I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible because the reality behind the statement, let's get factual, let's get actual and factual, t boss The reality is everyone who said, I am giving people a chance to show up to the stream, what they're really saying is, I want to see numbers before I start talking. They're really speaking from vanity position. You got to have enough cock diesel to say, I'm going to go and say what I got to say and mean every second of it and deliver every second of value if nobody is sitting there. If you can come with that level of confidence in the long run, you will do better. Sitting around, okay, uh, we'll get started. I was just waiting to see, uh, like, wait, give people a couple minutes to show up. Uh, man, you guys go to Zoom meetings like this. All right, we're just waiting for the, you know, other people to show up. And, like, it's not cool to Parker, Paul. Let me roll to the top. Let's see who was up in here. It's not cool to Paul, Parker, Janet, uh, Aubrey, Rob, Vinny. Like, the people that show up when they're supposed to show up. So my first five is in the tank. How do I look to those five if I BS for two minutes waiting for my vanity to get popped when the rest of the people show up? I mean, all intents and purposes, on average Saturday, we sit here at like 40, 50 deep. Today, we're at 10. And no biggie. I'm going to tell you 10 people what's popping. There's something else going on today. Cool. I'm, I'm rocking with it. Okay, we just jumped to 12. Anyway, so, like, it is... It is that excuse ha, it was cool back in the day because you could get away with the internet is slow. You need time for the service to build. That was true. I don't think that's true anymore. Um, the behavior of people was a little bit more forgiving in the past. So I believe this to be true. I don't think it is as forgiving now. I think nowadays when people click on, if you're not heeding, they're ghosts. They'll be like in and out, in and out, in and out. So I think it's more important that you, when you say go live and when that thing turns red, you deliver high impact value out the gate. Here's where you're going to win. Let's say, let's say you still wanted to kick your, your intro because, well, you're hard headed. Cool. Start the live. Deliver 
value solid for 60 seconds straight. Play the intro so that you can gather your last minute things or do whatever and then go into it. But honestly, everybody in the chat knows what does Doc say about intros? Write it in the chat. Come on. Let's see. Let's see. Write it in the chat. I'm curious to see if you guys remember what I say about intros. And it's not just me. I mean, if you watch all this, most of the, the good people, like they just don't do it. Now, the biggest channels, they can run intros all day long. People stick around for it. People wait for it. People are on brand with that. But yeah, just imagine the ref throws the ball in the air and then the Celtics and the Lakers just stand there. And they're like, what are you doing? Oh, people are still getting hot dogs and beer. We're going to wait till they sit down before we start the game. And the ball is just bouncing in the middle of the court. The game starts when the game starts. Like, it's not like, oh, we got to wait until Hannity comes back with, you know, popcorn and hot dogs for her kids. <laughs> That's not how it works. The game starts when the game starts. Um, I, how, should you edit off your countdown? No, stop doing it. Just throw the countdown out. The countdown is useless. It is. Like, if it was up to me, which is not, I would get rid of the countdown in the flow. But I, we can't because it's podcast and it's different for a podcast in that case it's not an actual it's not a, just a live stream to be a live stream it's a podcast i think you should start go and start banging value straight out the gate straight out the gate a hundred percent and see good thing i went backwards because i missed janet's question <laughs> good to see you young jedi all right let's see let's scroll let's scroll let's scroll mm. 100% of, of thumbnail will always do that work. Do that work. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I again, I I agree. But uh this is this is my thumbnail game at the minute. I I think I'm pretty good. I would give myself maybe a B or B plus in my thumbnail game. I'm definitely not an A plus thumbnail creator, but you know what? That's cool. I'll, I'll rock with that. Uh, ooh, say it again, Miss Ali. Say it again. Miss Ali says, when you have a countdown timer, the regular viewers know that they can come late. And she's right. <laughs> she's 100% right. And it's funny because I still think a lot of the... A lot of the newer people to the channel, they show up earlier now. The older people to the channel still come like three minutes later because they expecting to see the three-minute countdown, but I 86'd it. I 86'd the three-minute countdown back in November, and you guys said, don't go back. I listen to you. It's not about me. It's about you. If you wonder whether you should keep the countdown or not, ask your, ask your community. Be like, community, should I 86 the countdown timer, yes or no? And the only person who would have fought me on that back in the day was Sammy because Sammy doesn't like change, and Sammy loves the song. But you know what I do? I just play the instrumental version of the song when I start. So it still works, right? There you go. My, my show starts at 8.02 every time I stream. Pre-roll starts at 7.59. It's three minutes long. A hundred percent. There, that That's cool. I agree with this 100% with the exception of YouTube is not the theater. It's different, right? It's different, right? I, I come from that production background myself. But yeah, you, YouTube is not the theater. Now, if you're doing a live stream, if you're doing a performance, you do it how you got to do it. But Greg, Greg, say it again for the people in the back, right? This is what I'm saying. We all, we all defended it. I, I, me, will tell you point blank, I will die on this katana. I sold that story too. You do it to give the internet a chance to catch up. Internet's better now. We don't need to do that, right? The, I think the move, again, keep your intro. If you're in love with your intro, keep your intro. If you want to step your game up, throw that in the trash. I, I, that's, that's what I'm saying. So, yes, no, Aubrey, that was a nice way to say it. We say F your intro around here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, I was doing my live class lecture at five Oh five to a lot of students to come in and I discovered that people are not sure a hundred percent, a hundred percent. It is, it is what it is. It's, it's kind of funny, but, um, it is boom. 
it's 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 really weird. It's really weird. It kind of blows my mind. But Miss Eileen is correct. Miss Eileen is 100% correct. So, again, the, the main impact of this statement is you, their thumbnails will always be there because there'll be legacy players that are built to see that, right? But because hover play is happening, and like uh, Human City said a minute ago, it sucks when you hover over a video you think is good and ain't nothing popping. And so, like, you're like, should I watch it or should I not watch it? And I guarantee you, if you put, if you studied your own patterns, let's flex that for a second. If you studied your own patterns of how you consume YouTube, ask yourself, what do you do? All right. I know for a fact that a bunch of you guys deliver videos completely opposite of the way you consume videos. And that makes about as much sense as screen doors on the submarine. It just, it really does. It makes about as much sense as screen doors on the submarine. So, uh, this makes sense. All right, if you're, if you if you're going to keep it right, and this is sort of what LP does, right? If you're going to start at nine, if you started your countdown at eight fifty seven. That's a good 50-50. But when your stream is over, if it matters to you and you go back and chop that off so that people on the replay, this is where it matters, on your replay viewers, your countdown's a pain in the ass. And so what I did before was put a timestamp to tell everyone or replay viewers skip to 330 because I knew what the song was. I knew exactly, you know, skip to 330 and the, it'll start. Analytics says that people didn't do that. Analytics said they left. So it sounds good in theory. Now, you could chop that off, like Janet said back at the top. You could chop that off, but if you chop that off, the chat is gone. So if the chat is important, you can't chop that either. So yeah, it's a catch twenty two. Um, it's funny, and we 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 thought it was actually Strick still does it. I like I like the way Strick does it. Strick starts the countdown timer and just you know preambles a little bit, you know pre shows a little bit. I think there's a cool way to do it. Uh, you could recap. This might work better. Let's try let's try this on for strategy. Start at. 57 and do a three minute recap of what you talked about last week. So you'll be like, everybody, welcome to the creative part. As you know, last week uh, we talked about blogging for, for uh, creators. And of course, uh, Alec and Keely are still friends, <laughs> but if you want to see an epic dust up, um, which turned out to be very positive and beneficial in the end. But if you want to see a little bit of a dust up, make sure you check out last week's episode. I'll put the link right here. And then this week, we're going to get into this particular topic. So if you use the first, that three minutes to sort of recap the blogging for creators episode, and then kicked off the new episode on the top, I think that would work. I do believe that would work because you're still providing value. You're actually accessing the back catalog and you're just setting people up. It's no different than any, you know, serialized TV show where they do a recap of the last episode. Right. So that, that might work, but again, y'all do what you want to do. Don't listen to me. I'm just telling you what the facts are. And you guys know how I feel about your damn feelings. Your feelings ain't facts. So enjoy your feelings. Do what you want. But just be prepared that your feelings is not what YouTube is fitting to do. YouTube is fitting to do what YouTube is fitting to do. Now that we know that Susan is retiring, okay, and a new squad is taking over, Changes are going to happen on YouTube rapidly and fast. Why? How do you know this? Because no brand new CEO comes in and like, this is working. Let me just leave my hands off for a bit and take a lay of the land. They never do that. New CEOs take over and immediately start messing with stuff. 
So keep doing it the way you've been doing it. Knock yourself out, player. I don't care. I'm not going to do it. I'm advising you not to do it. And if you want to be hard-headed, knock yourself out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, Janice, yes. Train your peeps. You need to train your, your peeps. You know what? I always used to call people like this. And then I used to call people like this. And now I call people like this. Hey, Siri, call Luis Vega. Yeah, because I have you turned off. But go ahead. Knock yourself out. Do it the way you've been doing it, okay? Knock yourself out. <laughs> I'm going to just say it. Oh, my God. Uh, it's okay. I'm 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 teasing you. Um, all right, here's a question. Uh someone else is streaming from seven to eight, and then I stream from eight to nine, then someone else streams from nine to ten. So doing pre-rolls as a transition from people leaving uh yeah, you do a do a raid, right? You kind of sort of do a raid. Yeah, I think that's good. Um so sometimes if if I'm answering questions or just hanging out with, you know, LP and her crew on Fridays before I start the ECAM demo. Callie will tell everybody, hey, as soon as we're done, Doc's going to be demoing ECAM Live. So if you want to know about that, jump over and then people run over. So, yeah, I think it's a fantastic way of doing it. Uh, one time live events, in those particular cases, what many people do, and again, it depends on how you want to do your replay value, right? A lot of times those will have like a five or a 10 minute countdown. But I think in those situations too, you should probably, in addition to the first video, make a second video where you have basically chopped off the intro and a bunch of other stuff and then post it as a finished video, right? It's like if I go to watch a replay of a game, on NFL Network, they chopped out all the commercials. They chopped out, like, the kickoff, the halftime show. All that stuff is missing. I get to just see the game minus the BS. The only reason why I pay for NFL Network, because uh, except for watching the Raiders, all the other games I will watch after they took all the crap out. And the game is actually only, like, 45 minutes, <laughs> which is funny. You know what I mean? A four-hour freaking game is 45 minutes when you take out all the BS. Here's the reason why I'm a round football fan. Round football... The whistle goes, you play, not a commercial to be found. Then you take a break after 45 minutes, a little bit extra. And then you play another 45 minutes, a little bit extra, and no commercials. And it's glorious. Like, why American sports ain't get there yet, me not know. Boom. Yeah. Oh, now see, you can't talk about people in your streams because they be sitting in the back <laughs> listening. What's up, Meriwether? Yeah. Uh, yes. Now, thank you. Thank you. I and see again. I was with you. You know, I was right there. Right in the beginning, I thought countdown was important. And the, I think the thing that most of us did is we went shorter. Everybody was 10, five, 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. And we were like, boom, we're going to bang it out in three or we're going to bang it out in two. Now I'm just like, F that intro. Just go straight. Just go vlog style videos, for instance, right? They give a quick little like sneak peek. A lot of time it doesn't have any conversation. It's got a banging music. They do a banging video montage. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at freaking Todd. Todd, really? <laughs> Why? Why? Why you got to do that to me? So, yes, I think that that style had any. I'm going to call that the Netflix style or, you know, the standard TV style. I think those are going to be fine. Boom. Uh, what do you think of Signature Sound? I, I feel like it's super powerful. Uh, are you talking about the one in um, brain? Brain just went dumb. You talk about the one in uh, the script. Is that what they call it? I, I still audacity all day, but I don't know. Why have I heard of the signature sound thing recently? Um, hmm. I double check what I'm talking about. Oh, this is just recording studio stuff. Me uh, Fill me back in. Make sure I'm right. If you're talking about the the Discord, this script thing, I think it's kind of cool. Me personally, I still use um, what's that thing called? 
Aud audacity. No, all funny. Play. Totally in the same boat. All I did was switch it to the instrumental. Boom. I noticed this with like the news. When I start to listen in the background, the sound gets me to pay attention. 100%. 100%. Uh, if, if it's hey, listen, check this out. If, if your stuff is working for you, keep doing it. Right. Uh, just leave it at that. Um, I don't go to the homepage on YouTube. I go to my subscription feed, then I hover previews, and I and the previews I see are not from the first seconds of the video. They're random clips. All right, let's check this out. Miss Eileen says she's seeing something different. Let's see what she's saying. Browse. And then subscriptions. And then, man, all of these shorts have been here. Yeah, you can't even tell where that comes off of. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Videos that people put out today. You know whose face is missing from this? Y'all's. <laughs> she didn't make nothing. Here, let's see what Ash is doing. Yep, Ash is popping off in the middle. All right, there you go. But in this particular clip right here, it did pick something that's a little enticing, right? Because you see the Quetaude character, the guy in the suit. Like, if you're not, if, I know what it is because, you know, Osaka is my second hometown. But if you're unfamiliar, if you saw that, that might entice you to to want to, like, see stuff, right? Marquez is starting from the beginning of that particular video. You're right, Miss I. It's starting in random spots. That totally says upcoming. Totally says upcoming. But now let's 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 be honest, right? And when Miss Eileen, ah, don't do that. What Miss Eileen said is hundred percent true. But Miss Eileen, yo, regular kin folks, they don't even know how to go to their subscription feed. Let's be honest, right? If you ask most people in this room, do they go to their subscription feed first? No, because they just don't, right? I I don't. I know I don't, but I, and I know what I'm doing. I just figure most people don't do it. I'm going to put it out there. Go, Just check the people around you, right? Check to see who around you is doing the same thing. Uh, oh, there you go. I don't know why Rich is testing me. What's, I, what's happening? <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, there you go. What's up, PK? What's happening? What's happening? There you go. Start out, just let this like rope people in. Simon, this is a good idea. It's a very good idea. Yes, depends on the stream. Yes, sometimes. Yes, sometimes. No. Um, trailers are very valuable. On on the company channel, we try to trailer everything. Um, on this channel, less because a lot of times I'm figuring out what I'm going to do sort of last minute. If you, if you guys are more schedule oriented, like you know what you're going to pop off for the, the last time or so, then yeah, I would say definitely put trailers in. Trailers are huge. Trailers are absolutely huge. Every time we have one, people that come to the Ecamm streams after always want to know how we did it. So there is definitely something to those trailers. Uh, I go to my subscription feed when I know someone I follow dropped a video or is going live. There you go. I My, my notifications <laughs> is Discord. I know when you guys are going live, 
because of the people that are in the drop squad that have access to your videos pop up when you post a live. Uh, yeah, that I mostly know from that. The YouTube notification system is still slightly broken, but it is much better. Um, again, though, you have to train. Like, I, I definitely get people that pop up and say, oh, man, the notification didn't work. So that means when you see someone say that in your comments, you got to train them to turn off the bell and turn it back on and set the bell to all notifications. Like, if you want to make sure that you see them all, then you, you want to switch it to all notifications, right? So um, that's something that is just going to take you time to teach people or teach them how to click on. So let me show you just in case you haven't done it yourself, right? So this is my boy, Philip. What's up, P? So right here, I'm already subscribed, right? And then if you notice, I have Philip set for all, right? Um, I know mostly when he's making a video because, well, he lived down the street. <laughs> but, you know, so you can do personalized or you can change it to like some or none, but like, yo, I'm gonna just leave it on all. Hey, leave it back on all. Stop messing with it. There we go. So if you run into somebody who tells you that they missed your notification, just have them do the notification bell again. Make sure they got it all. Okay. When do you schedule your live streams? Normally uh, the day before. <laughs> sometimes uh, an hour before. So yeah, that's why I don't always have a trailer. What I have been doing a lot lately is when I'm going to publish a video, I tend to publish it on Tuesday or Saturday before the stream and then run a premiere for that video and the premiere automatically bounces into the stream. The video, video I posted yesterday, I opted not to do that because the info is needed to get out like it, it it wasn't i'm not trying to serve me i'm trying to serve y'all so like even holding that info for an extra day felt stupid so i ain't did it <laughs> right i let it i turned it loose with no stream to back it up and just called it a day right so uh, in this video i'm gonna show boom. you how i record stop philip ain't nobody talking to you philip just for that, I'm going to see him in the neighborhood today. Guaranteed. <laughs> Just Karen freaking teed. Uh, boom. All right. So this is the thumbnails for today. Um, so I did this video talking about, you know, how to use Siri to ask chat GPT questions. Right. And I just thought the info was more important than waiting until today. So I wanted to turn it loose, right? So that people have a chance to play. Also, like, it, I did something dumb when I put the video out. If it didn't work for you, delete that um, shortcut and do it again because I fixed it. Thanks, thanks to uh, Vinny and uh, I'm not gonna say his name right. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll fix it in my brain. Just call him AD. Anyway, um, so they were talking to me in the chat. And then so we popped in the Discord and we were hanging on the Discord with Keely last night and then we fixed what I did in the thing. It turns out when you share a shortcut from iOS or from macOS, if you edit the shortcut, you got to re-share the link. The link is connected. It doesn't like save that file and then update with the link. It just doesn't do that. You got to get rid of that link, throw that link out, start a brand new link, which is silly, Apple, damn it. But it worked. Anyway, so, yeah, there's that. Shut up, Paul. <laughs> Shut up. What Paul is trying to say, because I am full transparency, if I schedule it 15 minutes before I go live, it's because Paul scheduled it because I forgot or I was busy doing something. I run a tight-ass schedule. I'll be busy as hell. Or, and then I'm just like, Pete, can you do it? And so you know when I didn't have a chance to schedule it, when you come in and it just says create a Q and A, because I, they're still valuable and you guys like them, uh, that means I didn't have a chance to do a fully thought out type stream. A lot of you guys aren't going to be able to do that, or maybe you can. It really depends on your knowledge base and your your user base, like what your user is down for. My people seem to be cool with the random Q and As when they come, um, but you can always tell because if I have 
a full ass subject matter, then it'll have a full ass subject matter thumbnail. If it says create a Q&A, Paul posted it because I forgot or because I just didn't have a chance to schedule a direct lesson plan for that particular day. Um, boom. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. See y'all soon. Oi! Yo, you ding dong. Why? Why would you do that? Oh, you idiot. Uh, you absolute. What a maroon. <laughs> okay, see what happens when you unlock these dang things. <laughs> oh, that was just too good. That was just too good. Anyway, so wrapping this joy up. Keep your thumbnails, still work on them, still make them good because there are platforms that will require you, <laughs> require you to have one. But if you're not a thumbnail guy, don't sweat it. Put all of the impact in your video in the first 10 seconds, what we should have been doing anyway. Let's be dead honest. We all should have been doing it anyway. I definitely get lazy about it. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be the first to tell you Put all the impact in your video within the first couple of seconds. If you can pull off impact in a couple of, then you might get Ken folks to watch your video. If you are scripting, I'm not a scripter. I can't stand it, right? If you are a scripter, take your script that you wrote, throw it to chat GPT and like, give me a impactful hook statement based off this script. I need to make sure the video watchers, the viewers want to see the entire video. So using what you know about YouTube, write me a better intro. So like, even if you suck, ChatGPT can help you. Jasper can help you. Other things can help you, right? Put that impact in the very, very beginning. Boom. Earlier today, I saw someone schedule a short. I was disappointed that it was a short because I assumed it would be a long video. Why would somebody schedule a short? <laughs> That's funny, Eileen. I didn't even think about that. Why would somebody schedule a short? Thank you, Miss Eileen. Miss Eileen just came through with the super chat, super sticker, whatever you call these things. Um, yes. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. It's funny you got to read the thing and then you got to look at the at the actual icon because you know it's just the way it works. Um, Keely said, "So, would a pre-recorded opener with a sick thing like this is what I'm telling you here in this stream be a good way to start? Hundred percent. That's the same thing. Whether you do it like okay, this is trippy, but we got to start thinking about our live streams more like." a TV show because we're starting to attract more TV show type viewers, right? So if you had, uh, say you were going to do a live stream where you were going to discuss somebody, you know, did something heinous, like they're running down the, the, the grass and then as they ran by, they like hooked the heel and then, you know, jab somebody with stick and for whatever reason, the ump missed it. Right. Um, you might put that in the very beginning and then you could be like, so what accident on purpose? Should this have been a red card or a yellow card? We're going to talk about it in the stream, blah, 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 blah. And that could be pre-recorded, and you could have that, you know, like in a 30 seconds. Right. And yeah, you could be like, Oh, something of when the rule doesn't match the reality. Like, does this rule need to be changed? Controversial topic, yes, I know. But today we're going to talk about it. Here are the basics. Like, so you can get in, right? You, I mean, you know your topic matter better than me. I hit people with sticks. They don't, I don't get a card for it. They just don't get up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, I think it's a fantastic way to do a pre-recorded hit. In live shows on the TV, if you were to watch a show that is recorded live on the TV, they often use pre-recorded hits to start the thing. Every sporting event has a pre-recorded like enticement for like 15, 20 seconds. And then they cut to the people like this, you know, 
Here we are live at the pitch. Uh, today we're going to be watching uh, Manchester City versus Manchester United. Yes, the Manchester Derby is upon us, right? You know what I'm saying? So, like, they do it all the time. They do it all the time. Olympics, Olympics is like always, right? So, dope. Dope idea. People, if you're scared or you don't have that flex in you to speak, you know, with enough pizzazz to hook people, do exactly what Keely said. Hashtag Keely was right. <laughs> Where, where's Alec? Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> yes, right? Oh, good prompt. Super good prompt. Dude, I watched your your um Coventry Covington Covington uh scuff, you know, what you call it? Screen. Screen the floor and then put the floor conditioner. Bro, let me tell you, freaking Tommy. I I said, Karen, I want you to see this, right? So I showed it to Karen and I was like, look at Tommy. This dude took all of the stuff that he's been learning over the last couple of years and put out this banger of a video and he's like 84. Like I get super irritated when people tell me that they can't do this. Tommy just crushed this, right? So I was showing it to her and I did, I was joking about the 84 part. Paul, 84. Tommy is like 78. Anyway, I super dope video, but crazy. Like, I I love watching videos about stuff that I don't know jack about because I think it's really cool to be a well-rounded human being. I always thought it was straight varnish. As a woodworker, I always thought it was straight of varnish. I did not know there was such a thing as like a, a gym floor finish or whatever the hell the terminology you said. I didn't know there was a special finish for gym floors. And it makes the most amount of sense because you got to, you know, you got to have that stopping capacity, right? You mentioned it in the video. That was dope, dude. That was super dope. So it's really cool to see how you worked in the the script, put in your your B-rolls and everything and lined it up. So if you guys are curious, if you go into the Facebook group, Tommy, you should also post it in the Discord somewhere. Uh, Tommy made this video that he edited and using Descript, the new Descript style, plus, you know, polished it with B-roll and whatnot. And it's pretty interesting. And now I know stuff about gym floors. I ain't never asked nobody. Start with a 100 screen and a buffer. <laughs> you know, and I also didn't know, fun fact, thank you, Tommy. When you see those people on the riding wet vac, that that is actually effing up the floor. I thought it was cool because it's quick. You know, it makes sense. But when you think about it, it's hard. I know enough about wood. It's hardwood and it's maple. And whether you know it or not, the water will seep through any micro cracks in the floor and go down to the bottom and it will delam the floor. It, it just makes total sense. He didn't even explain all of that. But as soon as he said wet vacs are bad for gym floors, I was like, uh, oh, absolutely makes sense. Why do the pro stadiums use it? Because they can buy a new floor every season. They can afford it. The school cannot. So I learned some stuff watching watching that that Tommy video. So boom. <laughs> there you go. Boom. Yeah, that was really good, dude. I learned a lot. Okay. I, I would tell her 71. I will adjust it. I, I had you at no I'm joking. I didn't say how old you were. Really good video. And like it's funny because guarantee you that has to be a hard video to do because it's about a semi-mundane topic, but it's important to your users. So they're going to get the value that they need. It doesn't have to be twirly and pizzazzy or whatever, but the B-roll definitely keeps it from being boring. If you were just sitting there talking about gym floor, gym floor screening and maintenance and how often you should do it, like without the B-roll, I think that would have been boring. But with the B-roll, like, and you, the timing on the B-roll was very, very good. So if you guys want to see how to make a topic that you just got to cover, like uh, what they call it, compulsory. If you, if you want to see someone take a compulsory topic and make it good, go into the Facebook group and click on Tommy's video and take a look. It's a very, very dope example of something of that nature. So big ups to you, Tommy. So anyway, gang, that's it. Um, we're going to wrap it up so I can go eat me some breakfast. Uh, we'll be back Tuesday. Again, try. Like, work on it. I want to see your work-ons. I want to see what you guys 
are pulling off by trying to put that enticement in the beginning, right? You know, the chef people, they always show you the dish when it's done. I would say show the bloopers. If you're doing a pre-recorded joint, show the bloopers, show where you drop the onion on the floor or you did something stupid. Like throw that in the video while you're cooking it, right? Be like, this recipe is easy. I just made it look hard, but I trust me for the video. I made it look easy. I'm going to go back in and show you what I mean, right? Boom. Uh, Janet, a bumper is and a tease are kind of sort of the same things. They're somewhat interchangeable. However, when we say bumper, a lot of times we're sorry. Let me turn it down first because I got I got yelled at by everybody. Hold on, hold on. Let me go to preview mode real quick. Hopefully, y'all got you guys don't hear nothing. Turn it down to about right here and then go back to where I was and then come out of preview mode. All right, so this is a bumper. Where'd it go? That's a bumper. It doesn't tell you anything about anything. It's just... Look at me. <laughs> That's a bumper. A tease is more like, hey, coming up for you guys on Tuesday, we're going to dig into prompts that will help you as a creator. If you create content for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, whatever, these are some chat GPT prompts that will help you make better content, and we'll get into that live on Tuesday, which we are. I could take that and make that a tease. That is a tease. Now, I would bless it up, pull in the music, put some because a tease needs to be poppy. But yeah, that would be a tease, right? So that's the primary difference in the terminology. Most people interchange the terminologies. Fine. But a bumper is normally about your brand ID, right? So when you hear, doom, doom, we all know what it is. <laughs> you guys all know what it is. Uh, yeah, Phil Met 11. There you go. Those are T's. Those are T's. Exactly. Boom. The more you know. <laughs> uh, now I'm everybody. What do you mean? What do you mean you're everybody? Uh, there you go. Anyway, so let me finish what I was doing. You guys are killing me. So again, try to work your stuff within the first seven to 10 seconds of the video. Um, the, the other important section of this is still like, you don't have to spend as much time sweating your thumbnail. I think that's going to, that's going to change. I would say your title has a lot more to do with it because there's many of thumbnails that don't even have any words in it. It's just pictures, but the title will sort of rope you on video, right? A lot of the people who are, who are like putting out stuff. I just realized something. The YouTube page over here doesn't really show a lot of, um, it, there's a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a trending page on the regular. There it is. Here we go. Let's do this real quick. This doesn't always mean anything. Trending sometimes are dumb. But you see, a lot of these trending videos, they don't have a lot on the thumbnails, right? Like, they're just really basic, right? So, your title in this case is going to be more important. Now, a lot of the trending videos are, they just caught. They got on TV somewhere. They got they got some sort of virality to it. But yeah, this is a horrible thumbnail if you think about it. With uh, the text is so tiny. But I know, guarantee you, my niece watched this because she's in the middle of playing Genshin Impact. So I don't know. I kind of tend not to look over here because it's just weird. This is crazy though. The world biggest laptop. Man, I hadn't seen a, a, a Evan and Caitlin video in forever. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's genius, by the way. Super genius. Wild E. Coyote. Super genius. Ooh, wow. Two under 69. Round one at the Genesis. All right, TW. I see you. Anyway. 
Very cool stuff. I again, I don't only pay attention to this trending tab per se because I'm not going to find anything, right? So <laughs> Tommy is correct. Some thumbnails look like a ransom note. <laughs> That is so true. That is so true. Like, boom. Um, yeah, I think it's important to still have it and try not to get too crazy with the text. Some of y'all still put way too much text in your thumbnails, right? Uh, keep it, keep it simple. Yep. Treat your title like a headline. Michael is on to something right there. This is very, very true. Keep it like a thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, gang. Uh, Tuesday, yeah, we'll get into some prompt, some prompt engineering. If you're about that life, I will. I am going to make a video about this, but I will give you my my flatline story on Chat GPT Plus. Do you need it? No. If you got twenty bucks to throw away, do it. It's so much better. It's never dead. It's way faster. Yeah, it's really, if, I mean, if you're going to figure out what to do with it, it's worth it. But I want everybody in the Drop Squad to know this firsthand. Do not skip it. Do not skip it. I can't say this enough. We are at an inflection point in tech. We are just are. And... It's going to disrupt everything. Like, I've been, I got Bing um, a week ago, and Bing is glorious. It isn't, to me, it's not as good as Jasper or ChatGPT, but just knowing that they're working on it is a big deal, right? Here, boom. Like, boom, I'm in. I'm in the Bing AI situation. It's it's different, bro. It's absolutely different. So, like, I know you guys been hearing me harp on this for a hot minute. Don't skip it. Like, just don't. Like, I told my Gold Squad people, this is part of your journey from here on out because we doing it. Whether you like it or not, we doing it. Because I don't want anybody to come later and be like, man, I wish somebody pushed me harder on learning this AI stuff. Like, first of all, it's been popping for a while. A bunch of y'all got Teslas. You know what this has been going on, right? We've been having uh, sort of AI-assisted stuff going on for at least the last eight, nine years. But this generative decision-making stuff, yo, it's crazy. On Tuesday, I want to see if I can get permission. I want to read you guys a letter that came from Emma's school about ChatGPT. Because while other school districts are being dumb and out here trying to block it, she goes to a, a probably top 25 private school in the country, and I want you to hear their take on it. And this is why people that are in a position to go to a school like the school she goes to, they always win. Because their schools adapt. They're not sitting around at some school boy right now trying to ban books because it says gay in it, <laughs> right? They're talking about how to adjust their curriculum so that it can deal with AI. They're not worried about students cheating. They're worried about how to teach students better so they can maximize and utilize the potential. They're not running away from it. They're embracing it and educating it. And that sucks because your kids should not have to go to a very f stupidly expensive private school in order to have that happen. You know what I'm saying? It's dumb. It's dumb. Yes, Luis is correct. I try to stick to three words maximum when possible. Anyway, gang, that's it. We'll see you Tuesday. Oh, I know what I want to remind you. Um, don't forget, coming to FOIA, Man, Luis, get out the way. <laughs> Coming up for you, we're going to have uh, next week, Saturday, before this, we're going to have a Mac OS for creators. So if you got some Mac OS type questions, bring them in, come through. Let's get it done. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it done. Um, and 
if you're not a member of the Drop Squad, sorry. If you are a member of the Drop Squad, go silver, bronze, whatever. You're welcome to come to the workshop. Make sure you go into the Discord and RSVPZ. Make sure you RSVPZ so you get in there. Like, super important. We're going to have fun. We're going to get into this. Anybody that's not in the Drop Squad, you want to see this class, it will come up next month sometime. Uh, it's not going to be free. <laughs> but the Discord people, they get it for free, right? Also, another quick remind dizzer. Uh, let me grab the graphics since I ain't had it ready. I got a question from my homie. Uh, here. I got a question from my homie, and he said, hey, man, I got my new Mac. And I want to uh, get some accessories. I need you to tell me what accessories to get. And this person is a smart A. And always telling me about doing Amazon Live and I need to do more and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, put your money where your mouth is with an F. Put your money where your mouth is. And so next week, Friday, I will give you guys the particulars in the email. Next week, Friday, uh, myself and the deal chasers, <laughs> I will always say that just to irritate them. <laughs> we are going to do an Amazon Live and let me give you the exact time uh, as soon as I pull up Messenger. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do a, a Amazon Live, and we're going to be talking about cool Mac accessories and things of that nature. So it shall be gravy. I'm going to send out the invite today. I'll pop it in the Discord for you guys to know what's going on. But, um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do this. Uh, so it's going to be noon Eastern on Friday, so noon Eastern Friday, and then you'll be good to go. So that'll be fun. I can't wait to I can't wait to do this with them. That is going to be off the chain. And last but not least, if you are in there and you stuck somewhere and you're trying to get unstuck, and you don't have soft feelings, <laughs> boom, boom. Come on over. Click the link. Jump in. I will get you untwisted. This is what I like to do. Uh-oh, Tommy said I spelled something wrong in my thumbnail. I had two other people check it. What did we do? What did we do? Hold on, Tommy. Oh, I got it. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> That's funny. I'll fix it. Whew. Good thing I didn't put it out there yet. Ah, man, fat fingers. It's a, it's a fun thing. Anyway, people, I will see y'all next week and uh yeah let's have fun tuesday tuesday it is peace out a town stone city of mine how i love how i love the city of mine it never gets me down city of mine how i love City